Excuse me, have you perchance seen any evil spirits? Oh, my apologies. You're not from around here, are you? This question must sound a little confusing to you. I'm Chong Yun, a local exorcist from Liu. Those versed in the arts of exorcism refer to all forms of demons and monsters as evil spirits. Evil spirits have existed since ancient times. They lurk among the shadows in the lands of Liyue, stirring up all sorts of trouble and mischief. It is my duty to exorcise or destroy them, and protect the citizens here from their evil doings. How did you come to know of the vigilant Yaksha? I have great respect for the Yakshas. For generations, Yakshas and exorcists have been protecting Liyue together. One in plain sight, and the other in secret. Sorry, I digress. Judging from your response, it seems you aren't well versed in the realm of evil spirits. But that's understandable. If I may ask, have you happened to come across anything strange recently? Sometimes even the most trivial matters prove helpful in my hunt for evil spirits. Oh, I see. Well, fair enough. In that case, I guess I'll just have to try my luck with the clues I already have. <sighs> Only some scattered reports, really. Nothing too significant yet. But if you're interested, I can tell you about some of the more useful ones I've gathered so far. I read a flyer that said, The test of courage is now being held on Wu Wang Hill. Bring your best friend and test your courage together. Then, recently, the sounds of footsteps and shouting have been heard outside people's windows at night. The noises have frightened the children and they are unable to sleep. And a huge shadow has appeared in Guayli Plains. It flies and swirls, summons down fireballs, and makes all sorts of strange noises. Cases such as these might actually be worth our attention. I think something strange must have happened at the test of courage. I guess this so-called test is supposed to be like a test of metal. Its purpose must be to try the will and power of exorcists. <sighs> Do you think I'm not deciphering these clues correctly? I think the clue about the test of courage is the most relevant one I have so far. If strange things have been happening at the event, then evil spirits may well be the cause. <sighs> but there's an unusual requirement for this event. You must be a team of two people in order to participate. Huh? Strengthen the relationship? Oh, sorry. I, I don't really get it. Anyway, if you have the time, would you join me for this event? You seem to have a good eye for discerning these clues. With your adventuring experience, I'm sure we'll track down those evil spirits in no time. Oh, thank you. I was starting to worry that I wouldn't be able to find a partner. We should make haste. If there are evil spirits at the event, then things could get dangerous. I'll protect us. Please be careful, everyone. Pay close attention to your surroundings and stay vigilant once you enter. And most importantly, don't get separated from your partner and wander off on your own. You'll most certainly be in for a scare if you go alone. Did you hear that? He's warning the event participants. Maybe something strange really did happen here. Let's investigate. <laughs> Welcome to the test of courage. You two must be very close friends. Actually, we just met. <laughs> no problem at all. Don't be shy. Just enjoy yourselves. But please drink this before you enter the test of courage. This drink will boost the yang energy inside your body and lift your courage. Not only that, but this drink will also allow you to see things which are usually hidden from the naked eye. Pretty exciting, huh? Y yang energy? That's right. Ghosts are said to be full of yin energy, so more yang energy will surely deter them. Oh, I've never heard of such a drink. Is it a secret recipe? Or maybe some kind of potion? Surely not. He keeps emphasizing that there are frightening things inside. I'm almost certain it's some powerful evil spirit. But if this drink really does boost yang energy, then it's potentially dangerous for me. <sighs> you see... 
I have a very rare constitution called a pure yang spirit. Such a constitution allows me to scare away evil spirits, but it also makes me prone to emotional impulses. I am constantly focusing to keep my mind and body in a normal state, which usually works until I suffer from some external stress. Come now, what's with that serious expression on your face, lad? You aren't worried about the drink, are you? It's delicious and quite effective if I do say so myself. There's nothing to worry about. Or if you're still unsure, perhaps only one of you could take the drink. The person who takes the drink can protect the one who doesn't. It'll be exciting either way. Hmm. It's hard to refuse when you put it that way. All right, here it is. Please drink it slowly. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes, that's it. You did great! You two may enter now. We're way behind schedule. So this is the test of courage. Oh, there are more people here than I imagined. They could all be in grave danger if there really is an evil spirit here. We must get to the bottom of this. I'm not too sure where we should start, but I know we'll find something once we start looking. These innocent participants are completely oblivious to the potential danger here. We'll need to protect them. W what? Please, enlighten me. You mean... Being scared is like entertainment to them? I see. <sighs> Maybe you're right. I'm certainly a stranger to entertainment after all. I mostly spend my time purging evil spirits and practicing thaumaturgy. Besides training, I also need to constantly focus on my own emotions to avoid losing control. So I rarely have any time for leisure activities. I'm completely unfamiliar with what others would consider entertainment. Hmm, <sighs> well either way. Let's check the area for any evil spirits, just in case. Where should we start? Next on the agenda... This is all your fault! This place nearly scared me to death! Alright, alright, don't lose your temper! We're leaving now, okay? Hmm. To think I used to believe you were brave. Uh, but this is different! Excuse me, but I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Did you perchance encounter an evil spirit? If so, I'm here to track it. Could you please tell me which direction it went? Uh, who are you? No, I didn't see anything, so don't ask. So please just leave me alone. I don't know what you're talking about, and I certainly don't want anything to do with an evil spirit. My apologies. Perhaps you misunderstood what I meant. I only wish to know what the spirit looks like, and which way it went so we could track it down. If you can't describe its appearance, then at least show us the way it went. Uh, show you the way? No, I'm not going anywhere! No, no, we're not taking you anywhere. I am just asking you to show us- Ugh, no, forget it! Alright, that's enough. Listen, if you keep talking like that, you might actually end up believing in that nonsense. Can't you see she's terrified enough already? You could go find whatever strange things you're looking for on your own. Uh, my apologies. I didn't mean to frighten her. Yes, I'm just trying to hunt the evil spirit you mentioned to prevent it from hurting anyone. Isn't it a bit strange for an exorcist to come to the test of courage looking for evil spirits? Oh, I think I get it now. But we didn't say anything about a ghost or spirit. I think you misunderstood us. I brought my girlfriend here to have some fun, but instead she got frightened by all this spooky atmosphere. Now we'll just have to go home. <sighs> I'm not too sure what you're looking for, but we did see some dark shadows making strange noises. Thank you very much. That's very helpful. Well, you heard it. It seems something unusual is going on here. 
But why would they ever want to come here if they get scared so easily? Interesting. I have never had any fear of evil spirits, so perhaps I'm unable to understand their feelings. It's amazing that you're able to pick up on that. Good thing I brought you as my partner. Anyway, let's keep searching the area. Next on the agenda... Don't come over here again! Seriously, just leave me alone! W why must you be so obstinate? Just calm down, it's not what you think. No, don't even bother! You think I don't know what you're doing? Stop! Not a step closer! Don't be afraid! I'll exercise it right now! Exercise it? What? Who are you? And what are you talking about? Wait, what? Oh, he's just a person? Uh, it seems I've made a mistake. After seeing her resist so violently, I thought for sure an evil spirit was trying to harm her. Nah, it's not like that at all. She's just throwing a tantrum. Excuse me? A tantrum? <laughs> this is supposed to be a date, you know? And now that we're finally here, you don't want to go anywhere and you just want to hang around the entrance. What's the point in that? Alright, fine. I was just about to walk in with you. Look, I'm sorry. I'm just a little bit scared, that's all. That's why I've been stalling. I was wrong, okay? Now that someone else is here, let's take a moment to calm down. <sighs> I wasn't thinking clearly. It was pure impulse. I'm sorry. Please, forgive me. Will you give me another chance? <laughs> Fine. I know I shouldn't have yelled at you. Oh, it doesn't matter anymore. You're still the best, babe. Uh, who said you could call me babe? <laughs> You're so annoying. Ah, uh, so they really are on a date? <sighs> but why in such a dangerous place like this? <sighs> Perhaps we should just leave them alone. Hmm. These are traces left by an evil spirit. No doubt about it. The traces are quite weak, though, so there are only two possibilities. Either the spirit that left the traces is very weak, or it has already left for some time now. Either way, these possibilities prove my hunch that there's indeed an evil spirit here. No, I don't think so. There have been many rumors regarding the cause of Wuwang Hill's gloomy aura, but nothing is certain. Although, once it became the murky place you see now, it also began to attract more evil spirits. Anyway, these traces lead us one step closer to finding an evil spirit. Ah, uh, well, at least we've found some useful clues. We'll need to keep searching further in, but to avoid alerting the evil spirit, Perhaps I should wait here. When we were collecting clues just now, we were still unsure whether any evil spirit is actually here or not. But now that possibility seems higher, it would be wise to proceed more cautiously. Our efforts will be wasted if my yang energy scares the evil spirit away. Besides, I trust your capability and experience as an adventurer. If you come across a powerful demon, I'll get there as fast as possible. All right. Thank you. Next on the agenda... Ugh. <sighs> I'm beat. Finally I can take a break. Ugh. <sighs> I wonder if I took things a little too far. A few people seem scared out of their minds. Huh? Hey, you shouldn't be here. Ugh. <sighs> Never mind. I assume you overheard me anyway. I work here pretending to be a ghost, but now's my break time, so I took off my costume. I get all hot and stuffy wearing that thing. Of course, how could there be real ghosts here? 
No one wants to see a real ghost, neither us nor the participants. We just come here for the atmosphere, or should I say, the chance. Everyone wants the chance to feel the thrill of excitement. When people find themselves in a scary situation, they'll say things that they'd never dare to otherwise. That's what the test of courage is all about. <sighs> okay. I should get back to work now. Hope you and whoever you're here with have a fun time. You're back! How did it go? Did you see an evil spirit? Uh, w so that's what's going on here? No evil spirits? No danger? It's all just a setup? I... I, I see. So I was wrong again. Uh, in that case, I suppose there's no reason for us to linger here any longer. Yes, that was proof of an evil spirit's presence, but we can't be sure that the spirits still exist. Actually, I would also like to investigate that further. You're right. I'll focus my mind and spirit. Perhaps it'd be more effective for us to split up. Evil spirits will keep their distance if they sense the power of my pure Yang spirit, so you'll be more likely to find one if you're on your own. Yes, that would be best. Just keep it distracted till I arrive. I'll take this side, you take the other side. Let's move. with blue hair is a good person. Um, so, I'll help him, and you'll go talk to him. Uh, hopefully then he'll leave me alone. Sound good? You've been turning the whole place upside down looking for evil spirits. Other participants are starting to complain. Yeah, why would an exorcist show up at the test of courage and tell everyone that there are no ghosts here? You're just stirring up trouble. Honestly, I find this whole thing quite confusing. If there really are ghosts here, then you're using them to make Mora regardless of the participants' safety. You tell me, is that ethical business practice? And if there are no ghosts here, then your so-called test of courage is nothing but a big scam. Not only are you avoiding my questions, but now you accuse me of causing trouble? I've already told you! This is what kind of event the test of courage is. It's not our problem that you're taking it so seriously. And now that you're disturbing our participants, we'll have to ask you to leave. If anything about this made any sense at all, I would leave of my own volition. But if I leave now, I'm leaving evil spirits to their own devices. 
Help! Ghost! There's a ghost! Run for your life! What? What's going on? Everyone's starting to panic. I is there really a ghost? Uh, don't be silly. But if everyone starts running, someone could get hurt. Everyone, just calm down. No need to panic. Please move in an orderly fashion. I see. So there's no evil spirits here, just a wandering ghost. And she scared everyone away because I was in trouble? If things are as you say, then she doesn't seem like a malignant spirit. Hmm. <sighs> All right. As long as she promises not to harm anyone, then I'll pretend that I never knew about her. However, if she ever does harm anyone, It'll be my job as an exorcist to come and purge her, to mend my mistake. I hope so. Mm. We should go now. It doesn't seem we're particularly welcome here anyway. What's wrong? I have faith in my judgment of good and evil. But if I begin to neglect my perception of good and evil, it may lead to something I'd regret for the rest of my days. Wait, you mean... You didn't think I could be fair and reasonable? Really? Do I look so obstinate? Yeah, you're right. All right, we should leave now. Uh, okay.